Hi, in this video we're going to show you how the Microsoft Copilot for Outlook integration works. So if you have a Copilot professional subscription for around $20 a month, at least right now, uh, it will integrate into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. But from what I've been finding so far is the integration into Outlook is very hard to get to work. I've tried multiple different suggestions that I've uh, read in the forums, but I cannot get Copilot to show up in the Outlook client. I've even tried the new Outlook, I've tried resetting the license information and so on, but nothing seems to work. But you can use this feature on the Outlook website if you use that for your email as well. So the integration should work the same uh, with the Outlook client and on the website. I'll just have to demonstrate it on the website for you so you can see how it works. All right, so I have an email account open here on the website that has the Copilot Pro license. So if I go to new email, you can see I have this Copilot button here with two options. So there's draft with Copilot, which will create a draft for you based on your prompt. And then we have coaching by Copilot, which will offer you suggestions on an email that has already been composed. All right, so let's try the draft with Copilot first. All right, so let's type in a prompt about an upcoming sales meeting. Okay, so here's my prompt. Create an email reminding people that the sales meeting is next Wednesday. They need to bring their notes from the last meeting and any questions they might have. Have Sally bring the projector for the presentation. Let everyone know that coffee and donuts will be provided by the company. And then finally, make the email professional yet fun sounding. So let's click on generate and see what it comes up with. Okay, so here's what Copilot came up with. So if you want to take a minute to pause and then read the email to compare it to my prompt, then you could either keep it, discard it, or have it retry. So let's say click on retry, so it'll create something else based on that same prompt. Okay, let's say it's a little too fun sounding. All right, so make it more professional sounding. So it took a little bit of the fun out of it. And then if you like what you see, you click on keep it. And now it'll be in draft mode, ready for you to edit, or you could send it out as is. Okay, so that's how the draft with Copilot feature works. So now let's take the same email since it's already composed and do the coaching by Copilot. So it's gonna analyze the email Checking the tone and clarity. Okay, so it breaks it down into several sections here. So we have tone, saying it could be more enthusiastic and it gives you some suggestions. Uh, the reader sentiment. Says you could further emphasize appreciation for the team's efforts and inputs with some suggestions. And finally, we have clarity, so include specific details. It says the email is clear about the meeting details, but it could benefit from including more specific information to avoid confusion. And then it gives some suggestions here. So the downside to this is you can't just click on it and have it added to your email. You have to manually make the changes, or of course you can you know, copy and paste something from here and into your email itself. but there is the option to apply all suggestions. So you're gonna to have to take its word that it's gonna do what it says here, or you could have it regenerate and give you some new suggestions. So we'll click on apply all suggestions and see what happens here. Okay, so it applied the suggestions, but I will still need to fill in the date and time and the time here, since it doesn't know exactly uh, what date the meeting is on. And then if you like it, just click on insert below. And you'll see it inserted below, but there was also the option to replace it. So that would have replaced the email. So keep that in mind when doing it. All right. So once again, uh, start a new email within Outlook. And then you have the draft with Copilot to create an email for you based on your prompt. And then you could edit it as needed or have it regenerated if you don't like what it came up with. And then there's the coaching by Copilot option. So you could use that to analyze your existing email draft and give you some suggestions. So you could use that on an email that you've written yourself, or you could actually use it on one that Copilot has written for you. 
All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.